I am live on tape for Broadway.com at the 2015 BCEFA Broadway Flea Market and Grand Auction. You try to say that. Let's check it out. For the people that can't be here today, just use your words to describe the sights and the smells and the feels of the flea market. It's, it's an incredibly unique experience where the people that are obsessed with Broadway the most get to mingle with the other people that are obsessed with Broadway the most. <laughs> to me, this is the greatest day of the year because it's literally like the gathering of all people like me. It's, I'm walking down the street with my nine to five tote bag going, this doesn't, nobody's raising an eyebrow at my crappy nine to five tote my bag. My nine to five tote. From 2008. There's this wonderful opportunity for fans to, uh, you know, actually have a little time with you more than, than you get at the stage door. So it's, it's kind of amazing. It's a love fest. It is a love and fest. And it's all for charity. It's a charitable love fest. Broadway.com on Broadway.com action. Yeah. I'm here with Paul Wontorek. And we're at... We're just walking by a table and I just randomly found... So this is an old copy of Theater How quickly Week. did I find that, too? It was sitting on the top of the stack. And what's this? It's my first ever celebrity byline. I is that true? Yeah, yeah. My first Theater Week cover, I interviewed Debbie Gibson. <laughs> I should buy it. It's mint. Do you have $2? Do you have $2? I do have $2. I don't I'm going to buy you that. Card. That's amazing. Mine isn't <laughs> mint. This one's mint. Next item. This Mint. My God, I love that. All right, let's see what else is going to happen. I just want to get a shot of the sweetest Broadway fan ever. This is Ella. Ella, is there anything particular that you're looking for at the flea market today? Any memorabilia or merch that you... <sighs> I just want to gently make out with this dog. How long did it take you to make this bear? A long time. <laughs> a long motherfucking time. Yeah. That's how long. Give or take. Pretty Give much. or take. You guys, it's Brad... Oscar, mother Brad Oscar, who I just love to torment. I feel like every time I'm tormenting you, it's early on a Sunday morning. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Because these are our best times together. These are our greatest oh, times. Oh, Sunday morning with Susan. Was there a cast recording that when you were a young person, you like the what you just wore? Oh, this is. Out. I literally. That's what I was gonna say. I literally wore out my parents' album. Uh, to maim. Just Light the candle. No, at, at tempo. Get the ice out. Roll the rug up. It's today. Sunday morning. You are still. I got to do two shows. I know. You're ready. Oh, thanks. I feel like you're already warm. My number one was Phantom of the Opera. And then I had the unabridged Les Mis. It was like eight hours of Les Mis. Les Mis is not eight hours long. But this was. Okay. Don't contradict me. Hyperbole. Um, was there a song in Phantom of the Opera that you f***ing loved? What was the track that you just kept uh, rewinding? Masquerade is a bun a dun a bun son a na. Masquerade and the masks and stairs and stuff. Yeah, like Another Day. Like Daphne Rubin Vega and, 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 Adam, pa and Adam Pascal Sing singing like Another go? Day. You know, there's only us, only tonight. We must let go. You sound really good for a Sunday morning at I, 7 a.m. That yeah, I, well, I, I I don't know. I that's like this is like the coffee, smoky coffee, cream cheese bagel voice. It sounds great. <laughs> I wish I wish my voice ever sounded like that ever. Move on. Stop worrying where you're going. Move on. If you can know where you're going, you've gone. Just keep moving on. There you go. When you sing to me. <laughs> I feel Tell me like everything. the luckiest person on the planet. Well, when I sit next to you, I feel like the luckiest person on the planet. I can't hear your compliments <laughs> because I'm too busy complimenting you. Move on. Stop worrying where you're going. Move on. I wish they could sell at the flea market. I wish they could sell a thing for where like for 20 bucks you could rest your head on Michael Server's shoulder where Judy Kuhn saying uh, move on <laughs> to you. I feel like that would just... Next year at the flea market. It's the one that you kept rewind. Rewind? What's the one that you kept rewinding? Um, probably it's, uh, Last Midnight. Really? Yeah. That's not what I thought you were going to say. What do you think I was going to say? Not that. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to say that. I love that song. That and... Uh, this was just a mo God, you smell amazing. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ, come to the flea market and pay money to smell Jonathan Groff. They should set up a table that's just that. Shh, everybody shut the f up. We're here with the tiniest, sleepiest Broadway fan ever. Little fan, tell me what your name is. Have you met anybody great today? I have met, um, I've met many great people. Anybody that really stands out? Um, <laughs> not really. Wow. <laughs> I'm here with Andy Mientius and Michael Arden. But that's correct, right? Mientius. There's a click in it. Mientius. You have to do that or else. It's African. Yeah, vaguely. What are you doing here? I don't know. I'm actually just his bodyguard for the day to make sure no one attacks him before his big opening tonight. What was the Broadway cast recording that, the first one that rocked your ass and you just played it till the wheels came off? I mean, I will, this is maybe dating myself, the first cast recording I ever bought with my own money, the I first CD, yeah. The Life? I don't know The Life, I'm sorry. Yes. Can you just favor me with a little taste of oh, that sure. song? My body is my business. Nobody's business but my own. Are there any Broadway celebrities that you were hoping to meet at the autograph table? It is, it is <laughs> popping off at the Hamilton it booth. Is. <laughs> Tell me what you have at this booth that you think is just rocking, that fans are just oh. going to go crazy. Um, personally, uh, the Teenage Ninja Turtle. Um, Boogie board? Swim board. Yeah. It's a swim board. Okay. We use these during tech to sit on the stairs so that all of our costumes, which are white and cream, didn't get dirty. So this is a boogie board that has Hamilton butt juice on it. Just is there anything you were hoping to purchase at the grand auction? <laughs> You've been, have you been to the flea market before? I've never been to the flea market. You I mean, flea market I've been to virgin, many flea markets, but not this, but not this flea, flea market. market. And have you ventured out? Um, just barely. I'm hearing. I'm hearing voices. I'm hearing music. I'm seeing. Did you large take posters? Hallucinogenic. I'm hearing voices. What? Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, I'm hearing voices everywhere. This flea market's like today. a drug. It is. I'm an apple seller too. Ba ba ba. Anything but you. Those are the wrong lyrics, but you get the sense of what happens in my car in traffic. Look at me. Can't you see? I'm fabulous, baby. I love that one. I play it all the time. I love it when you sing it to like me on the one. steps of this theater. <laughs> he plays the violin. I wanted to be her so bad. Skaggs, you um, are a 60 year old show queen. <laughs> on my own. <laughs> see that? Full circle. Are you dreaming about playbills right now? I should have, uh, he doesn't, sp he doesn't speak yet. I should have said that before we started this. Oh, oh you're awake. I should have said that oh, before we started. Hi. Okay, Heather. <laughs> yes. What are you preparing to do? I will donate every last bill in my wallet to any table here to get a picture with Susan Blackwell. You're shitting me. I am not shitting you. I mean, I will shit if you want me to. <laughs> That's filthy. You're disgusting. Okay, great. So let's yeah. take the stripper bills. Stripper bills. That 15. all for a good cause. I'm going to take your driver's license. Oh, for that. We're going to take a picture and we're going to donate this to charity. Okay. I love it. Let's do it. Cool. Here we go. Get, wait, we'll get this in there. Sir, we'd like to donate some money to you. Yes, thank you. Will you give that to BCEFA for us? Thank you so much. Our deal is done. It's been a pleasure.